Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's going to be an exciting video. We're going to be making some Louisiana style ribs and it's going to be good. You know what? Let's just get started to this thing. guys so this is the next day we're going to light up our grill and today we're going to be smoking so we're going to be using some big lump charcoal so let me get this charcoal in here alrighty I got the charcoal in there now today we're going to be using cotton balls and alcohol and I'm going to put one right in the middle I'm going to make another little divot in it over to the side and I'm going to put another one in it right there I'm going to light them up it should be pretty easy to light these cotton balls up. After you got it light up, we're gonna put the charcoal over it, kinda like a teepee. Make sure not to really smother it. You just really kinda want to get your charcoals nice and heated up. So we'll get this fire going and we'll come back to you. Alrighty guys, we got a nice little fire going. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but the fire is going really nice. You guys might be able to hear it from my microphone, but we're gonna put these apple chucks in and then we're gonna put the deflector plates on. I'm gonna move around my coals a little bit, get the fire surrounded throughout the whole thing. Then I'm gonna take a few apple chunks and I'm gonna add it to it. Three, four. We're gonna add four of them and we're gonna add them kind of close to the middle, but not all the way to the side. Alrighty, now we'll get back to you. Alrighty, we're gonna put in these diffusers. I'm gonna put one down here and one right here. We're gonna put on our grill plates. Then we're gonna put on this thermometer to get an accurate temperature of the inside of the grill. You take it, you squeeze it in, and you put it right in one of these grooves. I had to take my gloves off for this one because it's kind of hard to squeeze with big gloves on. And we're going to put it right here in the front. Now we're going to shut this and we're going to want to get the grill up to about 250 to 270. And we will get back to you. At the bottom, we're going to have it about two sticks. Have it, actually, let's go. Let's go in the middle of two and one on that one. And then on this one, let's go to, uh, I say about nine or so at the nine mark where it's that much open. And then at the top, we do not want this to be all the way open. We're gonna want it to be in the middle of one and two. So it's gonna have a little passageway, but not too much. And we're gonna let this sit. We're gonna let this bad boy get up to 250 to 275 and we'll be able to put these ribs on. Another way you can also tell if you're ready to put your, your food on is by looking at the smoke. The smoke should be kind of clear and it should not be a white like that. So I'll get back to you. Alrighty, so we got the grill up to about 240, actually at 243. Now we're going to put these ribs on here. We're going to put them on there for three hours. Then we're going to take them off, wrap them up in foil, put it on there for two hours. And after the two hour mark, we're going to take it out 
and we're going to put it back on there for another hour without the foil on. So let's put these things wow. on. guys it's been three hours and two minutes something like that and the temperature of the grill is about 230 degrees it can be higher but it's good if it is between 225 to 270 it's good either where it is so it's doing pretty good right now but we're going to take these ribs off the grill and we're going to do the next step alrighty our next step is taking the ribs and we are going to wrap them up so we're going to be putting some Pepsi on it to keep it moisturized and give it a little sweetness now you can use coca-cola you can use any type of I guess any type of really pop you would like or any sweet juice you would like but today we're just doing Pepsi I like Pepsi I prefer it better than coke some of you guys might not like that opinion but I, I love Pepsi so we got the little Pepsi on there now Remember, you do not need a whole bottle. You barely need any because it's really just to keep it moisturized and give it a little flavor. Now we're going to take it and we're going to wrap it up. You want to make sure you get the top two. So I always get two, people, two pieces of aluminum foil. And you know, they say two pieces is better than one. And here I'm saying, yes, it is. It is better than one. So I'm going to be doing that just like that. Make sure I got the whole thing wrapped up. Then we're going to put it back in the grill for two hours. And then we are going to take it out of the aluminum foil, put it back on the grill for one hour, and it will be done. Come on. Let me move it over. Come on. Set guys it's about at 340 we're gonna take it off the grill and after we take it off the grill we're gonna take it off the aluminum foil we're gonna put a little glaze of barbecue sauce on it and we're gonna put it back on the grill for one hour so let's get this bad boy off the grill all right guys I could tell you something these smell absolutely wonderful now I'm gonna take these off the aluminum foil Get them on the cutting board. I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce on it. Hopefully it won't break apart on me. Now I'm gonna take the barbecue sauce and put it on here. Just a light little, light little glaze of barbecue sauce. Nice little glaze just to give it that barbecue flavor. You don't wanna put too much because some people don't like that much barbecue sauce, but they want the kind of barbecue flavor. So now we're going to do the other one. Alrighty, so the ribs are finally done. Six hours later. Let's take them off the grill. They're looking pretty. They're looking pretty good. They look a little dry, but they're actually not dry at all. It's also very hot. So, alrighty, here's what the beautiful ribs look like. Mm, I'm not even gonna talk. I'm just going. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is so good. Mm. And I'm not over exaggerating. It comes straight off the bone when you chew it. And it's not falling off the bone. It's pretty much competition ribs. Not falling off. But you can easily eat it off the bone. Now, I'm done with this video. 
Okay, I'm done with this video. This is way too good. Man. Okay, I'm going to go let my mom know. Let them meet. And thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you so much. I want to see this video get 10 likes. That's going to be the first most liked video. Oh, these are good. I'm sorry. I'm just going to end the video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please come back for more videos as they are always getting better. Hope you guys have another wonderful day. I said it again. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Mmm, wonderful. Marvelous. Very good. Excellent take. Mm. Oh, by the way, just to tell you, I might have had uh, one one rib outside already. What you mean? You ate it? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so good. Well, mm. you, we won't complain. The rib was good there. Because you're not supposed to muscle the bull when he's You did put the right amount of rub and mustard and everything. It's just perfect. Thank you. So you do your, did you do your steak? My spark. Mm -hmm. Nice rub on it. Mm. Okay. Careful. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. Mm. 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 I think Darian's been mm. working hard all day. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.